So good morning guys, welcome back to Dutch Cars. Today I'm gonna show you my 2023 Ford Ranger Raptor with a 3 liter V6 bi-turbo engine. Um, I've have, uh, had this truck now for about four months. I've put 16,000 kilometers on it. And I will give you a little bit of an update, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and the changes that I've made to it. So let's start with the wheels. I've put 18 inch fuel wheels on them uh, with a zero offset and 35 by 12 and a half uh, inch BF Goodrich tires. They just give the truck a really, really big makeover. Makes a really big difference. Uh, the only thing I had to do was cut the mud flap on the front, otherwise it just fits perfectly. As you can see, the zero offset just fits really nice. Sticks out a little bit, but not too much. And yeah, it just gives it uh, just that stance. It, yeah, really, really big difference. Really happy with the results. Um, Heatrax off road actually put the new. LEDs in the front, the orange LEDs. So big thanks to them, really great company. Also they installed the Easy Power um, lights on my hood. Really bright and actually they also have the amber in the back. I will show you guys that in a minute. Um, also I have a front runner roof rack with six really bright lights. They are great at night. And I have the window deflectors from EGR. Also delivered by Heatrax. Yeah, it just looks amazing. Um, I put these Raptor logos on it, but I want new ones. I want the big ones, like on the whole side and the front, the rear uh, door. And I have a front runner rack at the back, as you can see. Also, what I've done. Yeah, it's a big list. Uh, is this you might think wait what is that but actually it's more storage um, if I'm honest yeah I really don't use it but it looks pretty cool so if I ever want to use it it's there the other thing I've actually the first one in Europe with a stray pipe exhaust um, I just wanted to give it a little bit more sound because in Australia there are other mufflers on it so it's uh, a little louder than here in Europe due to emission uh, things. I will let you hear it in just a moment. Let's go to the inside. Really happy with the truck as I said. Just the quality is really good for Ford. Nice infotainment system. Great seats. Let me hop inside. So as you can see, a really big screen in the middle with a nice blue Raptor. Really big screen in the center. Yeah, sorry for the sun, but I will show you guys as good as, as I can. Uh, also these auxiliary switches on the roof. I've installed five and six to the roof light and the lights on my hood. There one and one there. And the uh, aux one is for the orange lights. So let's put the ignition on. As you can see, really cool graphic. Now I will actually start to one thing that I don't like about it is the fuel economy. Well, because, oh damn, what's bad? It's really bad because this truck averages about 18 liters uh, per 100 kilometers. As you can see here, it says 7.3 kilometers per 100, of, uh, oh sorry, 7.3, yeah, per liter. So that's just crazy how much because I also have an F-150 Raptor, the big one. That's even bigger than this with a 3.5 liter V6 and that car is a lot more fuel efficient than this one. What is really crazy because this is smaller, lighter, which yeah, I, I just don't understand. 
So if you guys have a Ranger Raptor or something, uh, please let me know what your fuel economy is because it just, on this one with the big tires, it really sucks. But yeah, great steering wheel. Uh, the exhaust mode don't work anymore on my, um, my truck because the middle muffler and the rear resonators are gone. I deleted them to get a little bit more sound and I've put actually five inch tips on it just looks way better because normally uh, stock they are chrome yeah i just really don't like that these just look way better and it sounds better with the muffler delete and the resonator delete actually i will start it up for you so as you can see 16,000 kilometers I don't know if you guys can really hear it um, through the microphone, but it sounds really, really good. And one thing that surprised me the most was this truck from the factory has a blow-off valve. I was like, what? How? But they did it. It's really cool. If you get on it, it has a blow of valve. I'm gonna put a bigger one on it from uh, Turbo Smart to give it just a little bit more sound, but it has a blow of valve right now. You have some storage over here. Don't really use it that much, but I have some things in it. And as normal, a glove box. Also, wireless phone charger. Uh, the drive mode, off-road mode over here. Then the front camera comes on. You see the axles. Just some cool off-road tech. Also a nice cup holder. Works great. And I'll show you guys the LEDs in the front. That got installed by Citrax. I don't know if you guys can see it, but at night it looks really cool. It just has this little amber light in it. So uh, in orange and the four marker lights in the front, as you can see. I really want those orange as well, but that's not possible. That's really a bummer because then it would look really even better. Um, also on this truck, you have the matrix headlights. As you can see, all the little cuts in the headlight because it puts out um, where your big lights are going on automatically. When you have a car coming towards you, it will set that part out, so uh, you won't get blind from your lights. <coughs> little American flag, little Raptor Gen 2 badge. Uh, if you guys don't know my Instagram page yet, go follow me. It's called, yeah, as you saw, Raptor Gen 2. So Raptor underscore underscore Gen 2. I have uh, 180 thousand followers actually for this car and my other f-150 raptor so go check that one out um, you have the new life valve suspension as you can see and no leaf springs anymore so yeah I just really it, it drives amazing but as I said it drives amazing fuel economy just sucks but yeah okay you can expect that with those big tires um, in now and four weeks, I'm getting a race chip tune on it, so it uh, has a gain of 40 horsepower. I think it will get more fuel efficient when that tune is on, because the engine has to produce less power to keep on rolling. So really, really excited to see the results of that. Also, I will make a video about it, so I will let you guys know. What I think about it. Um, the thing in the Netherlands, what sucks, I don't have a rear rear seat because it's not allowed here because it's a commercial vehicle. So these are just right behind my seat. 
really sucks but yeah can't make any different thing about that still everything you want on a car every new thing that's possible on a car this truck has it it's just incredible and it looks incredible so yeah let me go uh, let me know what you guys think of it and uh if you wanted the video of i don't know uh off-roading this or other mods let me know what i should do next on it and let's make it the coolest ranger raptor of europe i would say okay guys so that's it for this video just comment down what you want and uh, i will read everything and i will respond to everything so thank you and see you on the next one bye